I just want to say I'm a dirty man every time someone says that. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of uh, Disney Snacks. So this week uh, I'm back at Laura. Hi. And we are making Ohana bread pudding. So do you want to? I'm very excited to make this. <laughs> we went to Ohana on, I think, one of our last nights. Yeah, it was. Um, and we had this gigantic pudding that they brought out, and yeah, we just wanted to recreate it because it's Sunday here, and traditionally in England, UK, we have like Sunday dinners and a nice big pudding on the evening. So that's the plan. And we are going to make the actual bread pudding and then the caramel sauce that goes on top. We don't know the exact recipe that they actually use sure. at the Polynesian. This is just one off Disney food blog. Yeah. So Yeah. So anyway we'll jump straight into making it. So for this recipe you will need, and this should be in a beautifully shot video again, um, we have brioche, uh, no. what? <laughs> brioche rolls, which are just the plain ones, not the ones with any chocolate chips in. Uh, four eggs, we're not sure how many we're going to use, but... We're going to wing it, so we're going to use memories of the Ohana <laughs> experience. I've got a little photo on my phone of what we had and then we're just going to use knowledge from me um, as a chef to just like uh, make it. <laughs> anyway yeah, a plain brioche, eggs, uh, milk, caster sugar, double cream but that's for the custard or the, 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 the caramel. caramel. That's all. <laughs> um, <laughs> vanilla, one banana and some butter which we have melted. How much is this? A bit. Just a bit of butter. Yeah. I'm That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure many people can relate. I'm a kind of cook who just like cooks. I don't really weigh or measure unless it's like specific things that need to be weighed or measured. But we just go with the flow. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. So what are we going to do? We first? are going to. Do you want this way or this way? Across the the the, the, the yeah the. <laughs> we're going to cut the brioche in half and then we're going to get a pastry brush, the melted butter and just butter it on there and then we're going to just lay them all in there. So we are all set, crammed into a into a, a dish. Yeah. Now time to make the custard, which is how do you make this custard? Then? So we are going to we're going to do it really simple. We're not going to bother like cooking the custard because it's going to go back in the oven anyway. We're going to use. I think I've decided looking at how much we've got now. Four eggs, and I'm going to use one egg yolk. Then we're gonna whisk that with some caster sugar and then add in some milk, a little bit of double cream, some vanilla, and then we're gonna add in nutmeg. You can use ground nutmeg or you can use the whole ones. I prefer whole ones, so we're not gonna put a whole one in though. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna grate it. Um, so that's gonna be our custard mix. Then we'll pour, 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 and then put in the oven. So that's the plan. Yep. Yep. So we have added the milk. We swapped to a KitchenAid because it's too much work to get it to the 
<laughs> what we needed. Um, we have added the milk to the eggs and sugar, and you added something else, didn't you? Cream. Uh, a bit of cream, yeah. And then vanilla, just. And uh, nutmeg. nutmeg. I love nutmeg so much. It does smell nice. It reminds me of Christmas, though. Remember when we yeah. made the drinks? Uh, pumpkin spice. Yeah. Back in the day, that was like. I know, it was literally like we were both at uni and yeah. we both had the evening free. And it was like, want to buy some pumpkin spice lights over yeah, here? Yeah, you never tried them before. <laughs> no, we just made it. I'll link that video down below. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the American Isle in uh, Tesco. Tesco for pumpkin, pumpkin yeah. puree. That was good. That, I mean, my pumpkin cooked out at one point, didn't we? Did we? I'm not sure we did. I don't know if that was here, man. I'm sure we've got. Yeah, games night video for Halloween. We made pumpkin cupcakes. Remember? I need to go and check Mitchell's channel out because yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> Fun videos all the time. Anyway, nutmeg and cream and everything's in. And we will update you once this has done its thing because it gets a bit low. So that's done. Laura's given it one last mix. And then we will add it to the bread. We haven't preheated the oven. I uh have. -huh. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay, Laura, Laura's, Laura's on it. <laughs> Unlike me. I'm just trying to see if the vanilla's come through, not stuck to the bottom. <laughs> That's like the best shot ever. <laughs> Now, what are we looking for when we do this, Laura? We are looking for the bread to soak up the custard. <laughs> and if it doesn't... Wow, you're not going to have bread and butter pudding. <laughs> <laughs> the bread slugs. So, bread is completely... What was the word you used? Immersed. Sub immersed, immersed. Into the custard. Laura's using the tray to not make a mess in the oven and we are putting it in. What temperature do we put this in at? 180 degrees. <laughs> I don't know conversions, so you'll have to Google that one. <laughs> at this point, if you would like, you can put uh, like some demerara sugar on or if you want to flavour it up your way, so you could put like uh, lemon zest or orange zest or sultanas or raisins or chocolate chips. You can bung them on, but because we're having like a really sickly caramel sauce. Yeah, we won't do that. No. I was saying to Laura every time I've made like a caramel or um, um, syrup, golden syrup, before it usually goes terribly wrong. And yeah, so well, we've got Laura here and Laura knows how to make it. So hopefully not this time. <laughs> what you don't see is the like 100 attempts that actually happen off camera. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're going to make the caramel. I thought that was sarcastic. <laughs> Here's one we made earlier. It's like a ready <laughs> made. So golden syrup bowl. <laughs> uh, we have a pan. I'm off turn the wrong hob. <laughs> uh, a pan and caster sugar, and we're using the cream as well. Yes. So you want to put your sugar into the pan. Which is what temperature we put it on? Does it, it need to be really high, doesn't it? Yeah, I've got it on the highest temperature that the hob goes to. And we need to watch. Keep our eyes on this. Because I found, and well, it's well known, that there is a fine line between <laughs> it being okay and burnt. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is what's currently happening. I've <laughs> got too much in. <laughs> Right, that'll do. So I'm gonna just put a teeny drop of water in just to help it. Aqua purificado. And we are currently listening to the music that you get on the telly at Disney. <laughs> Not that we're obsessed with Disney much. <laughs> so are we just waiting there? We are. I need to get a little bowl of water and mm -hmm. a pastry brush. We will update you when 
something has happened with the sugar and the water. <laughs> We're now doing top tips with Laura. Here's your host, Laura. Laura, you need a jingle. <laughs> do 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 do. Okay, so when making the caramel with your sugar, some things you want to look out for is, so this is the very first stage. We've put the water in so that water needs to evaporate. So when it's doing that, you'll see here, I don't know if you can catch it on the camera, but there's a lot of steam coming off of the saucepan. So when it gets closer to the point where we're going to be making it, like getting to caramel point you'll have little to no steam and as you can see it's boiling really rapidly at the moment and you've got quite large bubbles once a lot of the water's gone and the, the temperature of the sugar gets higher you'll get lots of little bubbles and you'll know that's when it's getting closer another top tip also have a little bowl of water next to it with a pastry brush and keep sort of basting almost the sides of the saucepan so that way it stops the sugar from crystallising and we will rejoin you once we are closer to caramel stage. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Top tips with Laura. <laughs> Look, Danny, say hello. Hello. One sec, come back. <laughs> Why, come back. <laughs> Hi. I'm really zoomed in there, she's ruined the whole thing. <laughs> so, some of us have taken the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> um, Not on my course, hard work is over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Laura said we're about ready to... Uh, we're getting very close. Can you see how dark this is and how the bubbles are bubbling a lot slower now so we're getting really close to the point where we're going to pour the cream in and then it gets exciting oh my god up here it smells even oh it's amazing if you you'll know if you make it but it does it just smells incredible really nice, really nice. we just need to just this is very like just a couple of seconds anymore and we'll uh, are you really looking forward to this I am. I'm really not looking forward to this. You'll what, love this. What's the vlog? Even with a bit of salt in. Oh, salted caramel. What was the vlog? What vlog? I'm really not looking forward to this. Do you remember? Do you remember? No. You don't remember? No. No Disneyland Paris, again Disney. Um, when I had to go on the Euro tunnel. I was driving up. Was right, saying, we're going to pour cream in. Okay. <laughs> right, we're going to take it off the heat. We're going to go in with cream and... Ta-da! Please, for the love of God, do not try it right now. There is a huge temptation to try it, but... <laughs> Why do you not try it? Because <laughs> you burn your tongue. <laughs> Another top tip by Laura. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, did land Paris. No one was going to get a mirror at all. Yeah. And I was scared about scratching the uh, nails. Really not looking forward to it. <laughs> and that's caramel sauce. <laughs> As for our bread pudding. Oh god. Some of us are a bit old. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> it's focusing on the glass. This is what that looks like. And um, yeah, so what's the next stage? Just wait for it to come up. Yeah, so because in Ohana it had banana in the caramel. Coming to the light. <laughs> um, we're going to just chop up a banana and whack it in the caramel sauce whilst it's still warm. But we won't video that like, because that's pretty uh, self explanatory, I yeah. Hi! I'm Shirty Man. <laughs> Um, so the bread pudding is out the oven here. Laura's just put some in a bowl and put the ice cream on. And it looks like this. And we've got Danny here, our assistant, ready to get the shot of the, the caramel being poured on. So this is gonna be like the best bit, ready. Ready, 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 yeah. Oh. 
Oh, look at the ice cream now. Oh. Amazing. And that is Ohana bread pudding. Should Did we, we get the best job? Of eating it all. <laughs> of scoffing it. Do you want to, being as though you, you've been a great help today, Daddy. <laughs> you, can come and, you can come and enjoy a slice. Well, not even a slice. Here's your weapon. Oh. Verdict is. Mm. Imagine. <laughs> mm -mm. A whole new world, new thing. Go on, Danny. Go for it. Have to have a bit of that and a bit of ice cream. I'm losing my bread pudding. <laughs> oh shit! We'll have to take a good picture from this side. Oh yeah. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Fair <laughs> enough. Mm. Oh my god. Right, so now we're gonna eat the whole thing all in one because <laughs> <laughs> um yeah we'll say bye. How can you How can you what for fuck's sake? We how... hope you enjoyed <laughs> this video. Um, <laughs> Assembly. We hope you enjoy <laughs> Bread Classes Assembly. <laughs> um, that was Bread Pudding, the second episode. We will see you next time for the third one, which might... We are thinking Norway School Bread. Yeah. Because, because that was amazing. Very nice. But that one is going to be a pretty long process, so we'll see how we feel close to yeah. when we do the video. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> 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 so this is a bonus clip. I'm crying. <laughs> I've just reshared my uh, my post with Laura. Is that you? <laughs> I've left the sound on. I can't believe this. <laughs> and on that note, thank you for watching. <laughs>